Hi, this is Chris, and today I want to give you some tips for using your own images as image plates in FrameForge Storyboard Studio 4. You probably already know that FrameForge comes with image plate functionality that lets you composite an image background. This is very similar to using a green screen in your production with the exception that you can see the false background as you set up your shots. You can create some very interesting previous shots with image plates because the camera perspective and lighting effects like shadows remain true and stable. As an example, Notice how this actor's shadow aligns with the shadows in this static 2D image. Frameforge comes with a wide assortment of available image plates ranging from beaches, warehouses, train stations, forests, and roads. But you can also use your own location scouting images. Here I have an image that I call Donut Road. I've already dropped this image into my textures folder and I'm ready to start calibrating it for use. Before I calibrate the image though, I want to make sure that my optical parameters are correctly set to match the image. Donut Road has a resolution of 1024 by 768, giving it a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, or a 1.33 to 1 aspect ratio. Now I want to make sure that my optical parameters match this value so that the camera correctly composites the image. Again, I'm going to go to Set Optical Parameters. What I'm really interested in here is making sure that my aspect ratio matches. That said, I'm going to choose this 4 to 3. Then I'll go over here, background image plate, add background image. Now, as I said, I already threw it right in there. It's going to look for a calibration file but not find one, so we're going to have to set it up ourselves. I'm going to say no I don't. And now here's where you're going to have to rely on your own eyes to give you the correct perspective. I want to drop an actor and I want to guesstimate about how high or how tall he might be in comparison to the stop sign. I think that looks good. And since there's already a bush over here for reference, I'm going to take this bush and I'm going to size it down to about the right size or what I imagine the right size would be. Great. Once I've done that, I'm going to calculate the camera settings and it's going to give me the option to kind of bring some of my actors back and forth these objects to make sure that they look correct and I'm going to accept those settings and close. Now I can come over to props and I can drop in. Now all I have to do is grab the props that I want to drag into the shot, drag them, drop them in, orientate them, choose the pose I want, and I'm good to go. And I think that looks pretty good. Well, I hope this tip helps you, and we'll talk to you in the next video.